A bill heading to the governor's desk that would allow grandparents to now be considered domestic violence victims. It follows years of work to strengthen penalties for criminals that hurt senior citizens. Coincidentally, this bill comes just days before World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, which is on June 15th. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert spoke with an advocacy group on what's being done to combat this dangerous issue. He has the story new at 10. Up to 5 million seniors are abused each year in the United States. It's an alarming statistic. Alabama lawmakers are making a greater priority. Things that used to be misdemeanors are now felonies. Right now, House Bill 76 is headed to Governor Ivey's desk. It would allow grandparents to be considered victims of domestic violence. Last year, the governor signed Shirley's law into effect. It creates an elder abuse registry for nursing homes to vet potential staff members, making sure they don't have an abusive past. The law is named after Shirley Holcomb, a victim of elder abuse. The uh, person whose mother uh, the bill was named after is actually a member of our executive council. And so, yes, we were very much involved in, in getting that law passed. AARP Alabama has long advocated for laws that target abusers. They say abuse is a broad term that can include physical, psychological, and even financial harm. They fear these crimes are underreported and say everyone must keep an eye out. It could be a family member, it could be a neighbor, it could be uh, someone you go to church with. The advocacy group urges the public to look for the following signs. Any physical injuries, behavioral changes, or significant weight loss. As far as financial exploitation, you may notice bills piling up, bill collectors calling, and suspicious new friends that could be stealing money. If you notice any of these signs, AARP asks you to contact police to launch an investigation. If you see something, say something. Because the damage can be devastating. Brady Talbert, WSFA 12 News. And if your loved one is in an assisted living facility and you notice any of these abusive signs, you can also contact the Alabama Department of Senior Services for help. That number is on your screen, 242-5743.